welcome to today's major entertainment announcement. To kick off this exciting program, please welcome recording artist and Dove Award nominee, Tiffany Coburn.
to be in Benita, Oklahoma. Let's give another round of applause for the terrific performance from Tiffany. I'm Gene McComb, and before I begin this morning, I'd like to welcome all of our special guests that made it here today. I'm very proud to be from Vanita. Growing up here, I've heard the outcry of our community for more. Our children, born here, raised here, educated here, yet move elsewhere seeking opportunities in the pursuit of their dreams. Over the past 20 years, some 1,300 people have left our community. Imagine that trajectory without change. Today, I'm thrilled to announce, Vanita, our time has come. The winds of change are blowing strong in Vanita, Oklahoma. A transformation is upon us, a vast array of jobs for our region. Northeast Oklahoma, a new era of opportunity to change our communities, our state, and our world. We have a number of community elected officials and tribal leaders joining us today. Please stand and be recognized and stand as we announce the others. Our Bonita City Council members, please stand. Our Craig County Commissioners, please stand. Mayors from neighboring cities, would you please stand and be recognized? And the leaders of the nine tribes of the Ottawa County and the representatives from the Cherokee Nation, would you please stand? This massive project takes the support of our local government. I'm proud to say that our county and our city are meeting the challenges head on. Thank you to our commissioners, to our city council, our city manager, Alan Goforth, our clerk, Brian Prince, and next, I'd like to welcome this morning's host for announcements, my friend and the mayor of our great city, Mayor Josh Lee. Wow, thank you, Vanita. Good morning and welcome to Vanita. The turnout is better than we expected. Thank you, thank you for coming out. Thank you for joining us in announcing the next major attraction along Route 66. This is truly a historic day for Vanita and all of the four state area. This project will attract visitors from around the world to celebrate all that we stand for here in hometown America. When I first learned about this project and I met the development team, I knew it was a perfect fit for our community. Their commitment to collaboration and partnership has been outstanding. Thank you. I believe today will be a day that we will never forget. It is now my honor to introduce to you the Senior Executive Vice President of Marketing for Mansion Entertainment Group, Christy Adams. Good morning, Oklahoma, and thank you, Mayor Lee. I'm honored to be here today on behalf of our extraordinary development team for this historic day. Mansion Entertainment Group includes many divisions, Mansion Theater for the Performing Arts, Mansion Sound, Mansion Animation, Mansion Studio, and Mansion Film and Television. All of these companies have one important element in common, immersive storytelling. With that said, we recognize Oklahoma as the next frontier of tourism in the United States. With its stunning natural landscapes, friendly people, central location, Oklahoma represents true spirit of the project. 
This project will be a game changer not only for Northeast Oklahoma, but for the entire region. And now, without further ado, the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm thrilled to announce the newest major entertainment resort destination along Route 66, American Heartland. American Heartland will be a thousand acre development, including a large scale RV park and campground called Three Ponies, a four star hotel, Three Ponies will be the largest RV park and campground in the region, featuring 750 spaces, 300 cabins, a dinner theater, an amphitheater, swimming pool, clubhouse, and so much more. But that's not all. We're excited to introduce others from our executive team to share more exciting details about this project. To unveil the main event and share details about our anchor destination at Heartland America, Please welcome American Heartland's executive producer, Steve Hedrick. My goodness, what a crowd. Thank you, Christy. It's my great honor to reveal the crown jewel of American Heartland. Today is a culmination of years of planning American Heartland has brought together a team of designers whose portfolio features some of the most famous theme parks in the world. Six Flags, Disney Parks, where I worked, and Universal Studios. It's my pleasure to announce the heart and the soul of this new development, the American Heartland Theme Park and Resort. <laughs> American Heartland Theme Park and Resort will offer a visitor experience rivaling the world's top resort destination, and it's right here in Oklahoma. <clears throat> American Heartland Theme Park and Resort is a family-friendly park built on the American foundations of hard work, hard play, and boundless adventure. A collection of distinctly American lands welcome guests on a journey through the best of our American story. Families will find thrilling rides and heartwarming shows wherever their adventure takes them. American Heartland promises a thrilling journey with friends and family through the greatest stories and myths of the American experience. Thrilling rides and heartwarming shows await. Over the next few months, we'll unveil details about these six lands. Liberty Village. Liberty Village is a small town with a big heart. In every corner of Liberty Village, the warmth and spirit of classic American small town shines through. Here, the town folk are always glad to see you came. Great Plains, land of endless horizons. Experience the heart of the heartland, where big land and big skies invite our spirits to soar. Native American traditions and stories, enchanting adventures, and high-flying thrills with a barnstormer add up to a heartfelt fun and loads of discoveries. We have rides and attractions. There are too many to go through in detail, but there are 19 attractions and shows nestled among the beautiful lands and landscapes. Here we see our Jackalope coaster and our live and explosive pirate stunt show. 
Bayou Bay, the secrets of the swamp awaits. Welcome to Bayou Bay, a swampy hideaway where you can find mystery, magic, and some of the cutest critters this side of anywhere. You can find home-cooked gumbo, boot-stomping, zydeco music, or join in a boat ride adventure through the gator-filled waters of the bayou. Be careful. <laughs> Chills and thrills, I guarantee. <laughs> Big Timber Falls, the land of tall trees and taller tales. This mist-shrouded forest of the Northwest promises a rugged American adventure full of rushing rivers, soaring peaks, and ancient legends. Dare to explore whitewater flumes where it is rumored a mythical beast with a rather large footprint lurks. <laughs> Stony Point Harbor, adventures vast and deep cast off for daring exploits in this timeless coastal town where feisty old salts tell tales and wild adventures that they've had upon the seas. Here you can enjoy the best fresh seafood and ride through an old lighthouse that from what I hear is kind of haunted. We'll see. Our hotel you'll have a chance to stay in our 300-room in-park hotel, the Stony Point Inn, with all the nicest appointments and gorgeous views of the theme park below. Pretty darn convenient, I'd say. And finally, behold Electropolis. Sparks, steam, and the spirit of American innovation. A bright and bold vision of American innovation. Rising like palaces from the greatest world's fairs and towers and structures of Electropolis feature high voltage stories and high powered thrills. The inventions here carry you swiftly through the power of American genius. No day will feel long enough to take it all in. And no matter where you're from, you'll feel right at home in the American heartland. We believe there's no better place to represent American heartland than right here in Oklahoma. I see you tend to agree. State and local leaders have embraced this project and their friendship and partnership has opened the door for us to make this exciting announcement today. Our next speaker has championed this project since the moment we met. I'm grateful and honored to introduce the interim director, the State of Oklahoma Department of Commerce, General Hopper Smith. <laughs> can say is wow. Oklahoma is thrilled to welcome American Heartland theme park and resort to our state. This two billion dollar, billion with a B, billion dollar investment will introduce the new category of entertainment to our region. American Heartland theme park and resort and three ponies will bring an estimated 4.9 million guests per year to Northeast Oklahoma. An estimated two million of those will be coming from out of state. Each year, travel and tourism inject billions of dollars into our, the Oklahoma economy. Our tourism industry doesn't just support the economy, it moves our state forward. American Heartland's long-term impact will be transformative not only for Northeast Oklahoma, but for the entire region. There's no better place to represent the heart of America than right here in Oklahoma. I'm honored to welcome two native Oklahomans and visionaries behind this project, American Heartland CEO, Larry Wilhite, and founder and cre chief creative officer, Gene Bicknell. <laughs> Thank you, General Smith.
I am a proud Oklahoman. I have roots that run deep here. Grew up in southern Cleveland County. And I am pleased to introduce a fellow Oklahoman from Pitcher, Oklahoma, the man behind the vision and for the American heartland. He's a writer, an author, a broadcaster, musician, cattle rancher, veteran, professor, entrepreneur, pilot. What else? <laughs> Would you please welcome Mr. Gene Bicknell. Thank you, Larry. Good morning, everyone. Are you sure you're done, Larry? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, visitors, press, and friends, I was born in Pitcher, Oklahoma. I'm back. <laughs> Actually, we live in a troubled world, as we all know. Our mission here today is to bring peace and hope and joy and economic growth to this area. It's also a movement to promote the entire country and perhaps the world. We have spirituality as our incentive. We have a plan gifted by design. Thank you, Steve. And this community has been asking for a way to keep their children, their adults, their college graduates, and the, the adult to reach adulthood to have a place to keep them at home. Now, we're here to hope to accomplish that. This is our hope and theirs. Welcome to Mansion Entertainment. We pray for all this to make a reasonable opportunity for us to entertain people and also that it's affordable in price and we can promote charities. And as I started to think about this, I'd like to share these thoughts with you. I wish I had a wish, a wish that would come true. I'd try to change the world. That's exactly what I do. We bring peace and peace and joy, and we'll make that come true. That peace and hope that this particular project will bring, we hope it'll all bring mainly peace of mind and a future opportunity. We're very proud to be in Oklahoma. I, my great grandmother was on a trail of tears. So Oklahoma has always been deeply embedded in my heart, many friends, many opportunities, many times I've been. Some of your, old, your most famous, your most famous celebrities were friends of mine. And I love, peace and harmony and friendships and enjoy of time together and that's very important to me. So thank you for our support. Thank you, Jim. It's an honor to be a part of this project that will be transformational for my home state. American Heartland Theme Park and Resort will be a place families can come together to create lasting memories, experience joy, laughter, imagination, wonder, and hope. There is so much to celebrate about our country, the great landscapes, the cultures, and most importantly, the people. This development would not be possible without the partnership and collaboration, would especially like to thank our partners with the state of Oklahoma. The legislators who represent Northeast Oklahoma have welcomed American Heartland Theme Park and Resort with open arms. Their leadership and business-minded approach 
has opened the door for this transformational project. Please help me recognize these representatives. Rusty Cornwell, would you please come? <laughs> Senator Michael Bloomsorn. <laughs> Representative Josh West. <laughs> and my longtime friend, Danny Sterling. <clears throat> Would also like to acknowledge Blake Cowboy Stevens. <clears throat> Representative Bob Ed Culver. Senator Tom Woods, and Senator Nathan Dom. Thank you, gentlemen. Some of the guys had asked to say a few words, <clears throat> and I reminded them they're not up for election. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we'd like to have them come and share their hearts and, and their feelings about this. Thank you, Larry. I, I appreciate it. Folks, um, there was a room full of us uh, that was briefed on this project about a year and a half ago. Since then, a couple of us have been blessed to help facilitate the meetings to make sure that the right people were in the room at the right times. In 2018, I campaigned on an idea beginning bringing good jobs to Northeast Oklahoma and Oklahoma in general to try to keep our family units together as much as possible so our kids and our grandkids didn't have to seek employment in other states like Texas and Florida and elsewhere. This is that type of project. I would like to say right here before you that this is a chance of a lifetime, but really it's bigger than that. Most communities and their citizens don't get an opportunity to be a part of a project with this magnitude, but we do. Do we have some obstacles to overcome? Yes. Is there going to be some growing pains? Absolutely. But the one thing I know about this community and the citizens of Oklahoma is that if we put our minds and our backs together, there's no lift too heavy and nothing that we cannot accomplish. I will gladly continue my role as this project progresses to make sure that everyone involved continues to be good stewards and good partners for the future of this region and the state of Oklahoma. Thank you for coming and may God bless us all. Well, I'd st like to start off by agreeing and echoing uh, all the things that uh, Representative Cornwell uh, just said. In fact, uh, I ran on a similar platform to what he was talking about. The American Heartland Theme Park and Resort. I think that I can say that there is no better place to represent America's heartland than Northeast Oklahoma. After all, we are the heart of Oklahoma. Of, we are the heart of America. And with this project being located right on Route 66, well, how much better can it get? Obviously, this massive investment uh, in our region in Oklahoma by Mansion Entertainment and American Heartland is going to transform the region, as you've heard. Thousands of jobs but also a new home in America for family entertainment where families like mine and yours, my grandkids, my great-grandkids, where we can play together. I'd like to point out that this organization that is putting this together has a solid track record in creating family-friendly entertainment and they have a history of developing successful businesses. They know how to do it. The long-term impact of this project is going to be extraordinary. Oh, let's look at it this way. 
Tourism is already one of the top three industries in Oklahoma, and the American Heartland theme park, the resort, is gonna elevate our state, and certainly this part of Oklahoma, to another level. When you consider that tourism is a doorway to economic development, what is being created here, what is being announced here today, will have a ripple effect, drawing many new businesses here and creating tremendous opportunities and even more jobs. That's going to happen here in Veneta for our kids, for our families, for our grandkids. It's also going to happen throughout the region, and it's going to impact the state. I am excited about what Mansion Entertainment is doing here. I am looking forward to seeing Three Ponies RV Park and Campground as well as the theme park and everything else that this organization is developing for down the road. I'm looking forward to how this is going to create opportunities for individuals and families here in Northeast Oklahoma. So I guess that's about all I have to say except I am also looking forward to being at all of the ribbon cuttings and helping in any way that I possibly can to move this forward. So with that, thank you for being here. And I pray that the Lord will bless our communities, our region, and I pray that this will also be blessed. Thank you. I'm gonna be brief. Uh... You know, we'll hear a bunch of guys up here talking, but uh, kind of a backstory. April 2022, Danny Sterling, our colleague from uh, Tecumseh area, reached out to us and said, hey, I want you to meet a class uh, a guy I grew up with. Went to school together and, and class a ch childhood friend of mine. And, uh, and I think, you know, Russ and I were, were talking. I think we actually had to cancel the first meeting. We had something going on in session. And so um, that first meeting was in April 2022, and it was myself and Rusty and Danny and a few others and, and Mr. Larry. And I, at that time, it was actually, I still can't comprehend. I, don't, I, don't, I won't speak for, for everybody, but I think that Rusty and I, we talk about it often. Like, I, this is, it's really hard to fathom the, the size of this and the impact that it will have on the state. Uh, and eventually, um, Mr. Gene and, and, and Steve came in uh, to the meetings, and we began meeting at the Capitol uh, every week, and then more and more people got involved. And then uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Josh Lee here, he's been, he's been gracious enough to let us have the meetings here the last probably six months, Josh. Uh, and so it's, it's just to, to, to see where we are from April of 2022 to now, um, I'm excited. Uh, Mr. Gene, Larry, uh, this is, this is we, we, we talk about it often, the reps and centers as part of the state, that this is you know, the benchmark of the state. We've got Grand Lake, we've got all the stuff going up here, we've got the tourism. And uh, you know, like to mentioned by everybody else, tourism is a huge, huge part of our uh, economy, but our local economy. And, um, uh, but we talk about it often that we have, this is a place you want to be in Oklahoma, and this is going to add to it. And, you know, as you heard, uh, Mr. Gene, you know, he's a patriot, uh, he's a statesman. The company is a you know, faith-based company. They are patriotic. Um, and that's what we want in Oklahoma. You know, usually when we're dealing with other companies, we're talking about these, um, you know, trying to recruit businesses. They don't go like this. This has been smooth. Um, you know, they have said the whole time, we are coming here uh, for no other reason. They want to get back to the state that they were raised in. So, like I said, I'm not going to sit up here all day and talk, but thank you for having us, uh, Mr. Gene, Mr. Larry. We thank you uh, for your investment to the state of Oklahoma and our children. Um, we'll be, we'll be uh, excited to get everything rolling. So thank you for having us. I always hate following Josh West because I always got to bring that microphone down. <laughs> anyway, well, obviously I'm the outlier here. Obviously not from northeast Oklahoma. I grew up uh, in Noble along with Larry. I live in Tecumseh now. But uh, very when I got a message, uh, like Josh just alluded to a while ago, about a year and a half ago, and uh, made a call, phone call to Larry. We had probably about five minutes into that conversation, I realized this was way above my comprehension, just as Josh uh, was talking about, and started reaching out to these guys here, the core guys uh, from Northeast Oklahoma, and also other, uh, other people in the leadership level uh, at the state capitol and realized this thing was, uh, like I say, it was beyond comprehension. 
But like I say, I would just like to say I'm very happy for Northeast Oklahoma, very happy for Oklahoma, and actually our nation as a whole. But just real quick about Larry, I just I know a lot of people are always concerned uh, with some of the uh, other amusement park and the themes that they're starting to follow now. I'm going to tell you, I know Larry. I've known him forever, uh, like I said, all the way back in high school. By the way, he is one heck of a singer and a heck of a football player back in the day. You didn't want to mess this guy. Big, stout guy he is. So I knew that from personal experience on the practice field. But anyway, Larry, Larry uh, has core values that anybody would like to see be uh, brought and emulated here in this community and in our state. I can promise you one thing, you do not have to worry about what type of uh, element that will be brought in here because he and the rest of this group, they represent some core values and what we want to see uh, in this part of the state and what Oklahoma is all about. So very excited for this state very happy and we're going to get to let the rest of the nation come and see how Oklahoma does it and we do it right. So thank you very much. Thank you for allowing me to speak. You don't have to tell everything you know. <laughs> Guys, it's my pleasure to present each of our state partners with our first official t-shirt for American Heartland Theme Park and Resort. You'll always be welcome in America's happiest hometown. The good news is we won't have to wait much longer. We're thrilled to announce that Three Ponies will be completed in 2025. The American Heartland Theme Park and Resort will open in 2026. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to American Heartland.